Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. Uh, we're back with some local ranking videos. Today we're going to do the VHL, and that's in Russia, if you haven't already got that from the title and the, the intro. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the league that's right underneath the KHL. Our translation would be the Supreme Hockey League. Exactly. Just so if, underneath. If you think about it in the <clears throat> NHL terms, this is the AHL. The AHL of the of KHL. The KHL. <laughs> so, um, yeah. we got some help here from uh, Kate actually in Russia hooked us up with these logos and really helped us out here, um, which was huge. So, Kate, thank you very much. And uh, ready? Yep. There's 20, 29 teams in this league, I believe, as of right now. Uh, some there's been some juggling. I think I think the KHL teams from last year were added to this recently, and I think. A China team? Anyways, there's been some... This might not be exactly right, but it's very close. Mm -hmm. All right. I've ranked these 29 to 1, least favorite to favorite. Uh, let's begin. Number 29. The Edmonton Oilers. Yeah. Or the... Oh, the Gorniak. <laughs> the uh, Rogla. Oh, yeah. Rogla. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, and that's why it's last. I mean, yeah. it, it's... <laughs> it's a, a, I don't want to use the word ripoff, but it's uh, very similar. It to is the, very similar. The Rogla and the... In Sweden, mm -hmm. so uh, don't really like it that much because of that reason. Not original. Not original. Yes. Yes. Twenty-eight. This is the Chelyabinsk. Yep. I think uh, one. Uh, Chelmet. Chelmet. Yeah. yeah. So, this remind you of anything? How about that logo right up there? The Washington Capitals logo. Oh yes, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like the same. <laughs> the same. It looks yeah. Obviously, the background's different, but yeah, it's. I mean, it's very similar. It is. <laughs> so that's the reason why it's twenty-eight. I mm -hmm. uh, just. All right. Not original. Okay. Twenty-seven. Ah. This is a team that was just added, I believe. Okay. It's just Lada. This is a Togliatti um, Lada. Yeah. And you know what that is? The Lada logo. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a Lada, it's just a Lada it, logo. Lada is a car manufacturer in in Russia. Yes. Tell your story. I used to own a 1980 Lada. Orange. I, orange. Because when you went to buy Lada in 1980, they say, what color would you like? Orange or orange? <laughs> uh, it was quite that bad. You also had yellow and red to choose from. But I had an orange one. And I loved that car. It was a quirky, oddball little car, and I loved it. <laughs> anyway, it was pretty tough. 26. Oh, uh, the Dynamo. Dynamo, yeah. Yeah. So I, Saint. This is a uh, Saint Petersburg. We see this D a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's cool, but it's just. Mm -hmm. I've seen it so much, on like from multiple teams. That it's just meh. This is the champion team from from this year. Oh really? Both teams in the finals were from Saint Petersburg, and they finished one two in the standings. That's cool. The Dinamo finished first, and they won the series, best of seven series in six games. Must be a big rivalry then. I would think it is a big rivalry. Yeah. Cool. They, and the the cup they won is called the Petrov Cup. It used to be a different name, but just now they've changed it to the Petrov Cup mm. in honor of Vladimir Petrov, who was a very very high profile and exceptionally talented Russian player mm. in the 1970s. He was in the Canada-Russia series. He played with Mikhailov and Karlamov. Any that. relation to Oleg Petrov? I, I checked that and no. <clears throat> and I think not because the way Russians name their sons, I guess, they, the middle name of the son is often a throwback to the first name of the father. Okay. And Oleg Petrov's middle name is not Vladimirovich. So uh, I'm thinking his dad was a different name. Maybe they're related, maybe not. Uh, there's hundreds of millions of people there. So yes. <laughs> there chances is. are they're not related, but uh, we know Oleg Petrov from having played in Fredericton, of course. Yeah, that's right. Very good player. Right. right. 25. <clears throat> oh, yes. H.C. Sarov. Sarov. In Nizhgi Novgorod. It's pretty old school vibe. Yeah. I don't see it like hockey whatsoever in this. Mm -hmm. It looks to be... Maybe like a bell or something on top there? To me, it's almost as if it's the top of an, an Eastern Orthodox church. Yeah. Like, like a steeple, and they've put the name mm. underneath that. Yeah, I definitely get like a, a religious kind of yeah. vibe from this. And sure. Sarov is written there in Cyrillic. Uh, C-A-P-O-B mm. is that Sarov. 
24. This is uh, this is Zvezda. 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 And this is right, they play right in Moscow. Or, well, near in the Moscow Oblast, which is like their states. So this is in their, what do you call it? Srilik. Srilik? Yeah. Uh, and alphabet. then it's just a star. Yeah, it's a little boring. It's probably a lot of history here. The logos probably haven't changed in 60 years, but. Yeah. 23. Metallurg? Yeah. Uh, Metallurg Novokuznetsk. Novokuznetsk. It's, it's, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. I, uh, if it was just the M and the puck, I like it a lot more. But the text, I really find it hard to have logos with text around to make you go like this when you're reading it. I don't like that. Okay. Personal preference. 22. Toros? Toros. Toros. Yeah. Uh, looks to be a mountain, mm -hmm. kind of in the background. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I like the colors. It doesn't really speak hockey to me. It looks like a logo I'd see in, like, in a bottle of water or something. Yeah. And the writing at the top, I don't know what it all says, but you see that X-O-K-K-E backwards N? Yeah. That's actually hockey. Ah. Because the X is the H sound, and the backwards N is a is a Y e or a Y sound. So Interesting. Hockey. Yeah. 21. Buran. 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 Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that drop shadow in the back is comical. Uh, it could be difficult to get that on a jersey. <clears throat> uh, the lettering is, it's hard to read, but when you look at it for a while, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. It, it kind of looks like skate blades a little bit. You oh, see, yeah. like a, look, if you look at a skate from the front or the or the back. Yeah, I see what you mean. It's not it's not terrible. I like the colors. I think if it could be redone and done better. Mm -hmm. But uh 20 Sir Saryarka? Saryarka. This is in Kazakhstan. Karaganji. Uh looks to be obviously a bird mm -hmm. on there. I don't know sure exactly. It kind of looks like a hawk a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um it's pretty simple. I like the how the the black is separated with a little yellow streak. Um, almost looks like a shine. Mm -hmm. It's a good addition. And that XK would be hockey club. Mm. Is that that would stand for? Cool. Yeah. Not a big fan of the colors though. Okay. Number nineteen. I believe this is uh, their new logo for this coming year. I think. Okay. It's a CS K VVS. Uh, yeah, Samara. BBS, and that stands for Air Force. Oh, okay. Probably. So, <clears throat> you see, this totally makes sense then, because you get you get that. What's the name for it? Isn't there a name for this shape? It's a star. You mean the? Yeah, but they've got the things in the back, the stripes in the back. Well, it's the wings. I, they they would call that the wings. I think of... There's a name for it anyway. Okay. You can tell this looks very Air Forcey. Yeah. So it does. makes sense. Not a big fan of the text on there, but number eighteen. This is SK. Neva. Yeah, SKA Neva. Mm -hmm. This is in St. Petersburg. Saint Petersburg. Yeah. Uh, that's, I, that's the team that finished runner up in the championship. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, that's the rival team. I really like orange and blue <clears> together. <throat> mm -hmm. So, big fan of this. Again, it's just, it's, pr it's pretty simple. Yeah, there's, n there's not a lot of complexity here. It's just a star, three letters, and then a banner on the bottom. <laughs> Pretty simple. I think it would probably look okay in a jersey. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I like, I like how simple it is, but still a little boring. Number 17. Torpedo. Torpedo. Uh, same kind of exact bird yeah. logo shape. And that's Kazakhstan as well, right? So there must be something well, that to makes do sense. with the, yeah. yeah. So, not a big fan of the text on the bottom, but I like the bird and I like whatever going on here. It looks like, a, looks like Christmas lights a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> I'm sure it's a... I'm sure it's something, but it looks like Christmas lights to me. Okay. Number 16. Still in City. This? this is in China. China. This is in China, yeah. So, obviously, the dragon is a big, huge part of their mm -hmm. culture. That makes sense. He's got a hockey puck in his mouth, which yeah. is a little comical. You can see the hockey player there in the silhouetted in the blue behind the, the text. Looks like it was made in the 80s or something. I would like to see an updated version of this, but it's not bad. Okay. A little busy. Number 15, uh, Rubin. Rubin, Rubin. Hmm. yeah. 
uh, I can see hints of the St. Louis Blues a little bit with the wings. Oh, yeah. Maybe the Philadelphia Flyers a little bit. Yeah. Uh, hockey stick, which is cool. Um, so you can Carolina Hurricanes in the background. Yeah, there. yeah, a little, yeah, a little bit of that. Carolina Hurricanes. Yeah. So Just throw it all at the wall, see what sticks. That's right. Uh, <laughs> looks that right. Actually, yeah, I don't mind it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Number fourteen, uh, I've ranked Diesel. 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 Pensa. Yeah. The di- I, it might be diesel. Uh, perhaps be. I don't know. Uh, big fan of yellow and blue together. It's symmetrical. You can see the hockey sticks in there. It's just simple. I like it. Cool. Number 13. Yermak. Yeah. And. Yermak. It's. It's more modern than everything we've seen so far. Kind of got a silhouetted version of a. Looks to be a, a Spartan kind of dude on a horse. You've got some gradient shine there around the outside. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. I like it. Not a big fan of the of the gradient. Looks mm. a little, a little cheesy, but it's not bad. Number twelve. H C Rizan. Yeah. Riazan. Riazan. I like this actually. It's a, it's in a crest. Everything's contained in the crest. You got the text there, uh, which kind of comes out, but still contained because of the the stroke that's around it. Mm-hmm. The skyline of the city underneath the hockey stick and the puck. You can tell like it's clearly a hockey logo. Represents the city, so good job. Right on. Number eleven. VHL uh, Supreme Hockey. Oh, that, that's the that's the league logo. Yeah, I did not. <laughs> I forgot to remove this. <laughs> anyway, there's the yeah, league logo. The league logo. I like it. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Number ten. Yeah. Uh, Kimmich. Uh, yeah. This yeah. is. I, I really like this because it showed um, some actual geography here of whatever that is. I don't. No, if that's well, that would be probably the Moscow Oblast, uh, the map of the Moscow region that it's right part part of. Yeah, I, I like that. I like the blue and the yellow together, and then the dude on the horse. It's a, it's a little busy, but I do like it. It kind of looks, kind of looks like a police badge, a little bit. Right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, Just and chemic would be a short for chemi- chemical, chemical. So it's uh, chemical factory. Yeah, a lot of the the Russian teams seem to be named after industry. Mm. You know, auto manufacturing like automobilist and some of the other places, uh, chemistry in this case or metallurg, tractor. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, number nine, Ishtal. Ishtal. Uh, it's I man. It says the colors are like so nineties. I was going to say seventies. <laughs> there are seventies. Yeah, yellow, uh, red, and blue just in your face. Uh, it's it is ugly. It's ugly. But it's it's like boom! It's so in your face. It's like yeah, that actually would probably look pretty good on a jersey. So thumbs up. Number eight. Oh yeah. Uh, Molot Prikan. Good job. I wasn't going to attempt that one. <laughs> uh, it's 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 really simple. It's just a, a bear. Obviously, he looks pretty angry. He looks a little chubby. He needs he's he might need to hit a treadmill or something. But the things on the side, what do you think that is? I thought it was I, his hands like that. Yeah, see, I see hands like this. So he looks a little silly. But it also looks, makes it look like he's reading a book and you just served him. And he looked up from the book or something. You see it? Yeah, okay. I was just at good part. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. Number seven. Netyanik. Netyanik, I think it is. Ah. And uh, it says... So we have some information here. Yeah. Republic of Tatarstan. Yeah, Tatarstan. And Tatarstan is an oil region. Yeah. Tatars are an ethnic group that live in the former Soviet Union. They have their own uh, identity, mm. Tatars. So because yeah. of the oil, maybe that's why everything's black here. Oh, yeah. And, it makes uh, sense. It's, yeah, it's cool. The bull, the bull is awesome. Uh, he's the playing shape. with the puck. He's, yeah, he's, the puck's there. He's, the shape of it, uh, this crest is, is pretty cool. I like it. Yeah. Some dimension with that bottom text. Um, I noticed they've put in years on some of these logos as well. So yeah. It's cool. Yeah, I like it. Number six. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Kurgan. Mountains in the middle of Russia. Mazar means behind. Ah. On the back is the shape of uh, Kurgan Oblast. Mm-hmm. So, the the... The geography part of this I really liked, and what 
it looks to me like these are planes and that's the, the contrail of the plane like in an air show or something that's what I really liked about it. <laughs> okay, because I didn't see the planes at all. So you mentioned it. I can make myself see planes instead of just stars. Yeah. But to me, it just looks like stars no, dangling I, from a ribbon or something. I do see that, but jets jets going down with the contrails at an air show. That's what I see. That's why I liked it. <laughs> all right. Number five. It's your show. Uh, oh, yeah, this is uh, in Orsk. You, you want to try and pronounce that name? Yuzichny? Yuzichny? Or Euro. You it? You, you, yeah. You got it. Uh, it's not bad. I like the colors. Dark blue, and or navy blue, and the orange there. Looks to be a, like a marmot or a badger or something. I don't know what it is, but uh, it's, yeah, it's not bad. I'm not, again, not a big fan of the text that goes goes like this. And it's, I like it. You like it? I do. Number four. Ah, this Ugra. This is, I believe, a team that was in the KHL and moved to this league now. Okay. Uh... So, man, it's pretty badass with that. It's a mammoth. It looks it's, like yeah, it. I was gonna say elephant, but it's, it's a, a mammoth. Uh, he's got the taped tusks. Uh, he's angry looking. That's really creative. Like the colors. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Wow, I like this. I one. like that a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Number three. H. C. Temtov. Uh, I think this is maybe the most detailed animal logo that we've seen so far. Tim Bob, yeah. He looks pissed. He's he coming at you. Pretty angry. He's he means business, and I think that's what is imp that's important on a logo. Yeah. To have some ferocity. Especially a hockey logo. Yeah. And he, tough. the red dead eyes. Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. Nice. Number two. Bars. Bars Kazan. This is the younger junior affiliate of Akbars. Uh we're uh it's, it's, Andre Markov. It's, it's. I love the shape of whatever that is in the background. I don't know if it, it's kind of looks like a flower, but uh, almost a flame yeah. at the same time. The different coloration, uh, the shading, and then there's just freaking angry. Looks to be a panther or a something. Looks awesome. Yeah. I I really like it a that lot. That is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. So what's number one gonna be? What's number one? Ready? Ready. <laughs> really? Heck yeah. That really? Thing, that thing's amazing. <laughs> you don't like this? Okay, so cool. Yeah, like he's he's angry, but he's like you don't get a chance kind of look on his face. <laughs> like you're trying to look angry, but I will kill you. Look at these claws, these talons, ripping the part of the puck. How strong do you have to be to rip apart a puck? And he's not even flinching. He freaking loves it. And the colors are amazing. No text whatsoever. Giant thumbs up. Like this a lot. Okay. What's your favorite? The previous one. Uh, mm -hmm. Ours, yeah. That's I cool. really like that. For uh, some of the same reasons. Uh, there are a lot of actually pretty good logos in here. Yeah. But um, yeah, thanks for joining me for this video. Appreciate cool. it. Cool. That was uh, fun. Thanks for, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. There will be two more videos coming from Russia. One of the MHL, which is their junior league, I believe. And then mm -hmm. the ZHL or ZHL. And that's their women's their league. Their women's league, yeah. So we're going to film those next, and they'll be releasing to you sometime in the next coming days or weeks, uh, whatever. So thanks for watching. appreciate it. And uh, we're having a good day. Subscribe if you're new. Like this video if you liked it, and we'll see you in the next one. Spasiba. Do svidaniya. Adios.